Adrian. Adrian has engaged well with the material covered in her psychology class and demonstrated this with good written work. She has worked with a cheerful interest and enthusiasm throughout the drama course, as was closely seen in her performance earlier today. She has a flair for comedy acting and is of the highest order. Congratulations to you. Andre's scientific capabilities have consistently impressed his tutors and are well reflective of the work he has produced in class. At last night's debate, we were all particularly impressed by Andre's contributions. We'd like to congratulate him on all that he has achieved. It's been good to be here. Over the past four weeks, Audrey has been of consistently high standard in history, philosophy, and her elected choices. The Ents team have loved having her around with her eternal smile, and would like to thank her for cheering us up on more than one occasion. It's been lovely to meet you. After an exceptionally impressive first two weeks, um, Avra has continued to liven up history and algebra classes and produced formative work of both. She has never failed to make us laugh, and we hope that one day she'll have fond memories of Oxford and her time spent with us. Avra? Boss has demonstrated a highly sensitive approach to his independent learning about philosophy and international relations and made excellent contributions to both classes. He's a talented writer and a pleasure to work with, and I wish you well in the future. David has followed on from his success in the first half of the course with yet more achievements in algebra and multiple physics. In addition to this, last night proved to full extent his auditory skills, which you're sure will take him very far in whatever he chooses to do. Tutors with her level of hard work and commitment have made valuable contributions to both her minor and major courses. Her creative writings in particularly are certainly applaudable, and she should be very proud of all that she has achieved during her stay with us. Emma. Emma's successes, both in 
in and out of the classroom, certainly speak for themselves. Her maths and critical thinking duties are very proud of the work that she has submitted. In the same vein, last night, she demonstrated a natural flair for public speaking. And there appears to be no end to her talents. Some of you do. Uh, 
Um, after having got to know you, it would be a real pleasure, actually, if you bring them over and just introduce them. I'd just like to say hello and just, just meet them. So, um, I'm sure miss you. Um, where are we? Heidi. <laughs> high standard for her young age. A town's, a town's lie out of the classroom as well, as seen in today's photography exhibition, and we thank her for all that she has brought to this course. Maria. Yeah. Maria is extremely bright and 
have been an absolute pleasure to have both in classes and on excursions. A final photography work is brilliant and shows a tremendous amount of creativity. Well done. Can I ask you how many you came to? I saw all 44 colleges and halls. And hall. That's amazing. Well, well done. <laughs> Razor. Razor has been very quick to master new techniques in advanced algebra, algebra and very capable at applying his knowledge to situations. He is a very strong mathematician. In addition to this, tutors and ENTS members alike agree that he has been an absolute pleasure to have on the course, and I really believe that as well. Yeah. Rohan. and his success in Spanish is particularly worth mentioning. We would like to congratulate him on all that he has achieved and hope that you have enjoyed the course. I think you have. I've enjoyed it.
Absolutely. So Lee has always been attentive and responded to questions in a psychology class, and her written work was an interesting and very high standard. She's held quiet dignity throughout the course and successfully managed to hold her own in the test testosterone-fueled orienteering group. Oh, that, that's tough, actually. That is tough. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Shelby. Yeah. Shelby is astoundingly bright and fantastically hardworking both of which have contributed to a success after success in the past four weeks. While the standard of her academic work is certainly high, <coughs> last night she proved her natural calling in public speaking, as we certain she has a future, she has a future barrister. Um, yeah, sorry, I mean, just, that, that, was, that was a brilliant performance last night. It's been really good to get to know you over the four weeks. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Sienna's work over the past two weeks has been excellent, and she has been a pleasure to teach. She is intelligent, incredibly enthusiastic, has a great sense of humor, and especially when it comes to contract law. <laughs> she, accepted, she successfully transferred these skills into a professor from a, forgive me, an impressive performance in last night's debate. We have loved having her on the course, and we hope that she takes a sunny outlook with her, wherever life may take her. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah. who has more than proven her capability in turning her hand from Shakespeare to Arthurian literature and back again. Her creative writing is a sheer testament to her skill and talent, which we strongly urge her to take as far as she can, and I wish her congratulations.
shall miss each and every one of you. And for me, it's been, uh, it's been quite a month, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I think I can speak on behalf of the tutors, on behalf of the ENDS team, um, on behalf of Jen, Kim. Um, you've meant a lot to us. Uh, we've been through a lot together. Um, I have to apologize, the weather is usually better than this in England. Um, but uh, you know, I'm glad actually the way you put up with it. Uh, it's like this all year round, by the way, if any of you think we're turning out in the autumn or winter or the spring. It's been, um, I asked you, I challenged you during the very first session. I threw down the gauntlet and I said, This is the city of Alice in Wonderland. Alice through the looking glass. And I said, go through that door. Go through that door, and through that door is Wonderland. And what I didn't expect was for so many of you to pick up the challenge, to read books you've never read before, to experience experiences you've never thought of before, and to get a real feel for what it's like to study in Oxford, to be in Oxford to walk the footsteps of amazing people that have preceded you and that will follow you. I hope that these last two or four weeks will change you, and I will bet that they will. We'll all miss you enormously. Thank you ever so much. Same rules apply tonight as have.